Well, welcome back to TechVersity. Today, uh, we'll discuss how to set up the development environment for PostgreSQL uh, with the help of PG admin and this setup is on the docker container environment. So we'll not download anything. We'll use the docker container to set up the PostgreSQL environment locally. So for that, uh, we have to visit the our, uh, uh, this two URLs to get the PostgreSQL docker image and pg admin as in the ui tool so we'll we'll check both the things how we can access using the cli as well as from the ui so these are the three steps we need to follow first uh, as we are using the docker so first we need to pull the docker image so this is the docker image uh, we have to pull and we'll always use the let us tag image to pull the docker image so i already pulled both the images so we'll just look both the images okay so both the images I have downloaded in my local. So if you look here, I have the PG admin as well as the PostgreSQL and both are the tag with the letters tag. Okay, so we are good here. Now, once we have the PG admin tool, so to, to save the time, I already pulled the image. Okay, so bo both these images are available. So run the command, we have to docker run, whatever the uh, specific container uh, name you can specify here I just provided the PG SQL and the port mapping of course by default port is the 5432 so we did the mapping and the default password we have given the database password as well and the this is in the detached mode and the container name okay we haven't provided here the letter stack we can provide as well this one if you haven't provided it will treat as a latest one okay we remember so let's run the docker container then okay let's run it our docker is running we can just check whether container is available or not yeah container is created we can verify using the logs as well okay with the container id let's check okay if you look here database initiation is started okay pgc detail different tools utilities it is initializing the database and everything is working fine as expected okay now our container is there so let's check how we can access this PostgreSQL using the CLI command because most of the folks are very keen in the CLI so we'll check as well okay as you know we'll use the docker execute command okay in the attach mode and what's our container name so here my container name is PG SQL so I have provided here and the bash one so it will open the bash inside the container okay now we have the psql utility to access the postgresql database okay and we have the local host port is 5432 and by default the postgre username okay i have a new postgres we'll just verify one more time yeah postgres something is wrong okay have a new you must be caps okay we are able to access the postgre how we'll verify whether it's a postgre and whether our verification our setup is properly done or not by firing the current date command okay so this is running the returning the current date of the postgre sql so this is about the cli setup okay so let's move on and we'll check how we can utilize the PG admin that is the UI utility to access the PostgreSQL and play with the PostgreSQL. Okay. So already we have the image available in our local. Notice that this is not the verified image or this this uh, Postgres PG admin is not the official image. The Postgres is the official image. We can verify that using this one as well if you look here if you go here this is the official image docker official images okay and this is also the verified image so it won't harm your systems because everything is verified but pg admin is not the verified image and not an official image so you can take a precaution whenever you pull the image you can verify that as well what is the content of this image and then you can run that container okay so be cautious about this one so let's do and we'll check first we need to pull the image but image is already pulled so we'll <coughs> spin up the container directly okay so to spin the container we have to run the command like say docker run port mapping 
PG admin default username we have to provide the default username and password to access the PG admin and container name okay and what is the image in the detached mode okay hyphen D means detached mode you can we can run the container okay so this is the command that's it now we are ready with our container we'll wait for a couple of minutes and we'll check whether container is there or not yeah container is created we'll verify the logs okay postgres pg admin let's see the logs for the pg admin okay it's not at up okay we'll wait for the couple of seconds meanwhile we'll just check the this command okay also we need one more thing we need to inspect our uh, postgres container because we need the ip address to connect to our postgres from the pg admin we need the that host right local host for your machine and local host for the container because container has their own network right docker to docker networking uh, you can read the uh, <coughs> docker official documentation as well about the docker network okay so how docker is managing network and everything if you are if you're already familiar with the linux so uh, most of the folks already know about the this things terminology okay meanwhile we'll check whether uh, uh, how's the what is the IP address for this one? Okay, Docker PS F N A. Okay, so this is our container Postgres. Okay, what we need to do? Docker inspect. Okay, but out of that inspect, what we have mentioned, which Docker or which container we have to inspect? PG SQL. This is our Postgres SQL. And why we have given this hyphen F and uh, this format so format to filter out which format and what data you want okay if i just fire this one command it will give me all the data about that image okay everything what is the pv what we have mount what is the configured directory structure and everything every information about that system but i i'm not interested in that whole information right so we just need the network information and that, that is the particularly ip address of that network networks okay so for that we have applied the filter just and dot this and network settings dot network so this will return only the piece which we have interested out of that we just need the ip address this one you can copy and keep with you okay so if we look yeah container is up it is just putting some records so to access this one we have to go to the browser localhost colon eight zero enter it will show you all the things about the pg admin so we are able to access the pg admin and once this pg admin ui is available we need to provide the username and password which we have given here that is the default email and default password okay you can provide anything your uh, your name or maybe anything whatever you choose you can access and once that is accessible we can verify using the same command select current date and you can play with that uh, just create the database and everything whatever you want you can create it okay let's wait for the couple of seconds to get here this is booting it let's wait okay for now i will skip the video for a moment oh, okay no need to skip it's up yeah <clears throat> just we need this username already we have copied so we'll put here username and password we know already and login so once this is logged in it will show the dashboard parallelly you can check logs as well how it is working and everything okay those are the just informative logs okay if you look here this is the pg admin dashboard okay so we need to add the our connection so once you have to click on the add, add connection and you have to provide the certain details like postgres dev dev db okay everything you can keep as a default okay enter the host name and add address so we have to provide the host name by default port it is taking 543 okay so we just need to, need to provide the host name that we are already copied this ip address okay so we already will provide this ip address here 
now okay and we have to provide the password you can save the password and save this one okay sorry we have to provide the default username that is the postgres okay save this one now this db is available you can check the dashboard what is the server session different transactions statistics it is providing different different we can check here it will show all the properties about that database okay where it is everything then sql we just need to run the sql here okay so we, we are working in the default database okay you can just whenever you have to run run the command right you can click here and run this one okay so we are in this postgre dev database so it will open us the query editor here okay then select the select current date just just for the verification we'll do this one okay you can use the run command okay so it will show the current date okay so that's it for now today uh, and let me know your experience with it add the comments if you wanted to play with another database and if you're facing any problem thank you and have a good day